Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news. And now the news in details. Nigerians in the diaspora filed a petition with the High CC for the ongoing genocide in Nigeria. A member of the British House of Relots has joined the growing numbers of Nigerians in the diaspora and others from three continents in calling on the chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court to investigate the ongoing genocide in part of Nigeria, which had been compared to images from Darfur. Baroness Caroline Cox of the British House of Lords, a strong and outspoken advocate of human rights and religious freedom around the world, added her signatures to the petition. Lord David Harton, a member of the British House of Lords, compared the bloody images of the massacre in South Kaduna last week with those in Darfur. The petition entitled The International Criminal Court is Failing Nigeria, Hacked Against Genocide Now, accused the prosecutor of having delayed the International Criminal Court too long with the genocide in Nigeria. The petitioner argued, So far, your office has not identified the perpetrators of the terrorist genocide in Nigeria and has declared them wanted while you continue and endless preliminary investigations as the atrocities continue on a daily basis. Nigeria has failed to adequately prosecute the perpetrators and compensate the victims. In the same week that these atrocities were committed, the government of President Muhammad Buhari reinstated 601 Boko Haram terrorists and paid each of them 20,000 era new clothes. And the rest, According to the petitioners, within one week, the populations of South Kaduna experienced a devastating series of attacks as part of the Nigerians' perverted mid-level genocide. For your information, here are some of the atrocities. Zipak, a semi-urban a semi -urban town in the Fanstruan Shivdon, Jama, local government area in South Kaduna, suffered the murder of 10 people when the military, at, military attacked at 7 p.m. on Friday, 24th July 2020. Although Zipak is only about 2 kilometers from the heart of Kamfacha, where a carton with an army police paramilitary unit is located, the attacking military had a day in the countryside. After looting and raising the city, they burned part of the countries and cruelly killed the following people, Joel Seifers, 5. Kingsley Raphael, 28, Katon Kantiok, 60, Luca Gaba, 75, Victor Ishaha, 22 years, Madame Dakasi, 52, Kuyet Yahok, 25, Cecilia Haudu, 65 years, Martina Dauda, 70, Yanasa Dauda, 70. The governor of Kaduna State immediately imposed a 24 hours coffee on the entire local government of Jema. Until the, under the coffee, however, the military returned on July 25th to wreak even more havoc on the community, which was still in a state of shock and sadness over the massacres the day before. When it rained in Agwala, Madayaki, Indoka, Avok, Kajuru local government area in South Kajuna at around 8 p.m. on Thursday, 23rd July 2020, the harmed Fulani militia took advantage of the darkness and heavy rain and attacked the village for the second time in a month, killing seven people. The petitioner's father explained, as for the killings of the Fulani herders, despite the thousands of deaths, there were no arrests or prosecutions. Nigerians is nothing to write home about. This is so sad about our people. About this Boko Haram people, this is just so wicked. And you can imagine, why reading this thing, I was so moved with what uh, I heard uh, President Muhammad Buhari said. They even said the government of President Muhammad Buhari reinstated 601 Boko Haram terrorists and paid each of them 20,000 era. And we said we want to stop this Boko Haram in our country. How is it possible? This is to tell you that this present administrations, they are encouraging this evil atrocity in our country, Nigeria. That's just the meaning. We don't have a government. We don't have one at all. 
This is just a threat to humanity. And as Boko Haram hide under the Islam, they will kill people and they will still perform their, 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 their prayer. But God have mercy. Why is our government like this? Why is the Nigerian leaders like this? May God help us. What is going on in this country? What is really wrong with our leaders in this country? That's the problem. Look at how the way they kill people as if they are killing chicken. And nothing is being done about it. And rather they keep encouraging this Boko Haram, this Fulani hetman every time. And we are saying that insecurity should, should, should reduce in the country. How is it possible? Insecurity cannot reduce in the country because of these things that is going on. Because of the encouragement that our leader are showing to this Boko Haram and Fulani headsmen every time. It is, it is uncalled for. It is not a good thing entirely. Why do we have a government? Why do we have a government when they are not competent enough? Why do we have a government when they cannot even stop this issue of insecurity in the country? When they cannot stop the issues of the issue of kidnappings and all that? Come on, this is this is just unfair to to common man to innocent people. This is unfair. Killings keep happening every time, every time in the country, and nothing is being done about it. What kind of leaders do we have? Let's hear what people are saying about it. You know, people say so sad. The cheapest thing in this country is human life. Islam is wicked, threat to humanity, merchants of death from pit of hell, religions of peace and death. They said underground arrangement by some wicked leaders, despite that anything meant for the righteous cannot be allocated to the wicked. They said, what do you expect when the body language of a leader supports evil agenda? Islam is a, a courtist society, not a religion. ICC, a criminal organization that's so corrupt than ever. You know, people said there have been several petitions to the ICC ever since the Quarry reg regime put its weight on Southern Kaduna. The truth is that those that feel or think that they can take over Southern Kaduna are under an illusion. They will all meet their Waterloo soon. Your great grandfathers couldn't achieve it. What makes you think your paranoid, devilish, and son of predictions parents can? May God help us. May God touch the heart of our leaders to do what they are supposed to do. May God touch their heart. May God touch the heart of the Nigerian leaders. This is not a good thing entirely. And that is why many people in Nigeria, many tribes, are calling out for disintegration. And that is why many tribes are calling out for division. Because people are tired of all this thing that is going on in the country. When the lives of people are no more safe, then why are we living in Nigeria? Then why are we still there? When our leaders cannot take charge of every situation that happen in the country, then why do we have a leader? This is getting out of ranks. This is getting too much. This is getting too much. May God help us in our country, Nigeria. May God help our leaders. May God touch their hearts to save the lives of innocent people. May God touch their hearts to do the right thing. To stop this Boko Haram power. To stop this Fulanese, Earthmen, marauding all over the country. That's just the thing. So viewers, what do you think? What is your home take about this? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. We want to say God bless you to you all. For watching our video, we say thank you so much. We appreciate you and have a wonderful day. Stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important. And always don't forget to press our notification button. It is very important so that you'll be able to watch our latest news. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye.